monster Things are a mess around here. That massive tree came down in today's storm. I can smell it. There's so much tree debris all over the place. I just came to stop here before I head home because I wanted to see the river over here and how high it is. Definitely a lot higher than it normally is. Yup, messy day. That water is so much higher than it normally is. That is a big tree that came down, fell right into the cemetery. Such a big tree. There's a big branch down there in the road. I don't know if you can see it. See that? Ugh. Just went by a road flooded sign, and I can see why. Because that is indeed a lot of water, and it is pretty much at level with the road. Oh, and that's a, that's a road flooded sign, but you can barely tell. Well, it looks like I'm going to be turning around and uh, going home the other way because there's no getting around that. Shoot. That's a mess. All right, well, it's a big tree too. Oh, it's right on the lines. Right on the lines. Took them right down. Look at that poor sign just blow around. So we're headed back through the flooded road area. Yep, flooded road indeed. Woo, messy.
Hi, happy Monday. I'm going to try another week in the life vlog, my last week in the life vlog that actually also started out on a stormy Monday, turned into just a day in the life vlog because I wasn't able to keep up with the filming throughout the week. This is a short week at school. We have three and a half days before our holiday break, so hopefully I'll be able to keep up with it this time, but we shall see. It is a stormy day, again, here in Maine, but instead of it being a snowstorm this time, we are experiencing a wind and rainstorm. And it's actually already the middle of the day at this point. It's about one o'clock. We did go to school this morning, and by 9.30, we lost power and it did not come back. So we planned to dismiss kids around 11.15 and buses needed to get middle and high school kids home first. And so on their travels to do that, of course, they experienced down limbs and just roads that weren't really accessible. So that took a little bit longer than expected, which meant that our kids were actually dismissing from like 11.30 through about noon time. Buses were just kind of coming in in random order as they were able to arrive at the elementary schools to get the younger students and then get them home. We had a lot of parents that just chose to pick a kids up um, and I was able to get home just a few minutes ago. I also got a text from my immediate fourth grade teaching team members and they are all home and safe and I'm very thankful for that. Brandon and Eli have gone out to get gas for our generator. They shouldn't have to go too far. Less than 10 minutes away we do have a little general store that has gas so I'm hoping that's where he's headed and that he'll be able to get the gas and get home because I will feel a little bit better when we are all under our roof and no one else in our immediate family is out on the roads and of course I'm thinking of everyone that does have to be out today because it's wild out there there's a whole huge span of Maine that does not have power right now I've heard schools all the way up into the Augusta area that don't have power. I'm thinking like the Lewiston Auburn schools maybe actually you know some I know for sure that some of them are out and probably others at this point because I had a coworker that was going home that way and said that there were some downed lines across one of the major roads in that area. So it's just it is a stormy day and the state is running without power and there's lots of trees on lots of lines and lots of limbs down. I went a different way home than I normally do which you saw just a couple minutes ago because I wanted to see the river and when I was trying to get home that way there was a tree across the road so as you saw I turned around and I went back my normal way home and I was able to make it. Just lots of like little branches, lots of debris in the road and you can probably hear the wind whipping about out there as I'm talking to you so it is it's a windy rainy day i can only imagine if this was a snowstorm we have no snow left other than a couple of really large piles and some parking lots but otherwise the snow here in maine has completely melted with all of this rain this is the second rainstorm we've had in the last week so the snow is pretty much gone and i don't see any snow in the forecast and so I'm thinking that for the first time in a long time, we are going to have a snowless Christmas here in Maine. I was a kid the last time that happened. It's not common to not have at least a few inches of snow here in Maine for the holidays. So part of me wishes that this was snow, but I think it would just add to the difficulties for everyone. So I don't wish for that side of it, but I do wish it was snow so that we would have a white Christmas. The snow will come, I know it will, but there's just something about being all cozied up on Christmas morning together around the tree and seeing the snow outside and we'll make the best of it. And we'll still love our Christmas, I'm sure, but it's looking like it will be a brown Christmas. It sounds sad to say it like that, but that's what we're up to. This week is leading up to Christmas. This is the week before Christmas and we ended up with a spontaneous half day today because of the weather. So it got very interesting at school to not have power. Oh my gosh. Oh, things are just whipping about. Mm. I can see it all. And I can hear things like thudding against things. Oh, I don't love it. I don't love it. <clears throat> anyway, it got interesting at school because we, of course, had not fed the students lunch. Our 
cafeteria ladies were amazing and somehow they put together a lunch. I mean, they were already prepping for lunch because they start that very early in the morning. And so they were able to still feed our whole school in a very um, quick, spontaneous way. We went with paper trays that we had instead of our normal plastic trays because they wouldn't be able to get washed. And we just made like a a conveyor belt almost line type buffet style in the hallway because the cafeteria was too dark so we were able to get our kids fed they came back to the classrooms to eat and the bathrooming wasn't ideal but we were letting kids go to the bathroom because how do you tell kids they can't go to the bathroom they have to be able to go to the bathroom so they were going to the bathroom but i'm sure that those toilets are gonna be clogged after uh, power is restored and they begin resuming flushing because that was a lot of bathrooming without being able to flush. But anyway, probably nobody wants to hear about that, so we'll move beyond that. The kids did a really good job overall. We had had the lights flicker just as the kids were arriving for the day, so I prepped them during our morning meeting and I said, you know, it is a stormy day outside. We have a lot of wind. There's the chance for power outages. And we just kind of went over how we would handle it if we did experience a power outage. And lo and behold, 15 minutes into our math lesson, which is the very next thing we do after our morning meeting, power went out. <laughs> so that was great that I prepped them ahead of time. There was still some noise and some bustle about the experience. It's not, of course, common for us to lose power while we are at school. So. Wow. Oh, something just hit the window. It wasn't huge. There are just leaves and things blowing everywhere. So, overall the kids did a really good job of handling it. We had them open their laptop lids and then we were letting them read books. So the laptops were serving as like a little bit of a light source. So it was like a cozy vibe. And then we had them draw some pictures that were inspired by the reading they had done. I had a couple of like extra leftover math papers that I gave to some kids. We played some build a snowman, which is my more friendly version of hangman and did that a couple times. So we kept them busy. They got their lunch. There were a lot of parents, like I said, that picked up. The buses eventually made it. We're able to get all the kids and we're all home at this point, or hopefully, I'm sure I still have some coworkers that are, oh, I'm just watching a branch fall. I'm sure I have some coworkers that are, just, that are still making their way home. We were hearing about roads that were closed as we were preparing to leave. And so some people knew even before leaving school that they were going to experience some detours on the way home. What I'm really curious to know is the wind advisory is actually until 1 a.m. tomorrow, so I'm really unsure if we're even going to have power back in our buildings, our school buildings, for tomorrow. So I don't know what tomorrow will look like in terms of school, um, but that's what's going on. Ten minutes to explain all that to you. So that's already going to be a huge chunk of this week in the life vlog, but it's just quite the day, so I had lots to share with you. Also, if you're noticing that light over there, those are some like night light things that we bought and they plug into the wall and they do essentially nothing until the power goes out and then the light turns on like that. So we have one in each of the bedrooms as well as some of the hallways so that in the event that power does go out, kids would be able to get to us and not panic as they're trying to get through dark hallways in the night. Um, and I think, does, does it turn on even at night? I think it might actually serve as like a night light, like I said a night light at night and then if the power goes out it turns on. It's like triggered by not having access to electricity. Anyway, they're very neat. Highly recommend them. Got them on Amazon. I'll link them for you below in case you're also interested. I feel like they're a must-have if you have kids in the house. It's been great since we've had them with the kids because there's no longer that panic of ah the power went out in the middle of the night and instead they can just grab the night lights, come to our room, and they're good to go. So that's where we're at. I'm sure I'll throw in a little more footage of the day because it's gonna continue to be blustery, but that's what's going on. I'm gonna go get some editing done since I have a little bit of extra time and editing is not something that I need internet access for because of course we don't have that either. And um, we'll see where the day takes us and we'll also see if we end up being able to go to school tomorrow or not. I'll check in with you again later. Wow, 
Those trees are just moving so, so much. Ugh. The wind has died down a little bit for now. We do have some trees that have fallen on our property. Those ones that you see there were not down at the start of this day. That's the kids path that they use for biking and four wheeling in our woods and now those trees are definitely in the way. But things are quieter. They've calmed a little bit. I don't know if it's going to stay this way. I have had the opportunity to get one and a half of my videos edited, so that feels good. Quick update so far this morning. The storm has moved out, so the wind is gone, the rain is gone, and we're just left with the aftermath of all of the tree branch pieces and the downed trees everywhere. There are still lots of roads closed. You can hear the hum of everyone's generators around here. Uh, we don't have school today, just too many roads closed to try to get everyone to school and to do it safely, so I'll be back to touch base with you soon, but that is an update real quick for now. Oh my god, daddy! Oh my ear! That camper is just in the water. Yeah, actually it has gotten higher than since this morning. We're out doing a little bit of exploring of the areas near us and all that water that they're walking up to is not normally there. I'm gonna go over to the area where the water normally is so we can see how much higher it is. I stopped by here yesterday but the water is already higher than that. That is crazy to see it that close to the top of the bridge there. Wow.
It missed all of the headstones, amazingly enough. like it took some branches off this tree when it fell. Brandon's getting the branches off that headstone. Wow. The tree was all rotten, which led to it falling. There's not normally water over here. None of this is normally underwater. You can see a sign up there that says canoe portage. Look at how fast this water is moving through here. That's normally a vegetable field. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. And our first detour. Down the hill over here. 
Oh, look, it's actually on Center Street. Oh, look at all those. Yeah. Man. generator. We've been without power for mm, 36 hours. And just seeing that my wind chime made it down and into one of my plants. I am in my becoming infamous spot where I end a lot of my vlogs for the day. And so we're doing exactly that. We're ending Tuesday's portion of the vlog. We spent the day mostly, not well we were mostly home, but for a portion of the day we did go out and we did a little bit of exploring around the area that we live in to see some of the flooding and damage that is going on. We've got like, there's some talk about record flooding, record winds, that kind of thing. So we were safe about it and we did hit a few detours, but we like the 32 hour mark without power and yes. probably it won't be back tonight. There's just still so much damage and as much as I would love to have power again, I know that there are many other people who are struggling and we really aren't. So I'm thankful for that. I am worried about some of our food just because with our um, generator on for some time in the morning and then again for a little while in the afternoon, evening hours, I don't know that it's really keeping it cold enough. The stuff in our freezer is not very frozen at this point. So we may experience some food loss, unfortunately. Um, but 
if that's the worst thing that we have to deal with, then I'm going to count my blessings because I know lots of people who have experienced damage to their homes Hi. and or, hold on, and or um, property, thing, items on their property or their property in general. And we really, we have some limbs and things down, but overall we have not experienced a ton of damage. So I'm going to count our blessings. We're going to get ourselves all tucked into bed. I'm going to go grab a shower. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, there's a car underwater. Oh, we did. We Sorry. saw a car underwater. So that's where we're ending the day off on Tuesday. This is turning into a very interesting week in the life vlog because it's not very school related because I have not spent all that much time at school. We were supposed to have a three and a half day week this week. We had a half day Monday, no school Tuesday. We will have no school tomorrow on Wednesday. And we'll see if we have our half day on Thursday. I just don't know what to expect at this point. I guess it's really going to depend on road closures and that sort of thing. And if we can get our kids to school safely, if our buses can get kids and get them to school safely, that's really the struggle that we're facing right now because we do have power again at our school, but I don't know if all the schools in our district have power back, but even if they do, I know that there are many roads that are still not passable and that is causing us to still not have school tomorrow. So we're going to hope that the linemen and women can do their job and take care of themselves amidst the challenge of trying to take care of others and get power restored to those of us without. And I know it will happen in due time. And until then, we're just gonna stay in a holding pattern, keep running the generator a little bit here and there. We are hearing that the, the gas station that's closest to us is now out of regular gas. Luckily, we have other gas stations that are not super far from us, so hopefully we won't run into any like gas-related issues, but that's that for Tuesday, so I will check in with you tomorrow on Wednesday. Have a good one on your next day. <laughs> this guy's cute. Have a good one on your next day. <laughs> oh, thanks, bug. <laughs> Bye.
There's more. So you gotta go chew that for five days and then come back. Do you like it or no? What is it eating? A piece of a cookie. So is it, is it a cat? No, it's a one of the Now it's one of the dog bones. It's really taking us time. Per usual. <laughs> You'd think that it was some really hard something that we'd given up. Oh, what a mess you're making, Hank. Here's a few of our cookies and how they've turned out. The present is mine, the star, that gingerbread man, and my jailbreak lobster. And then these two are Brandon's. <laughs> One bite out of this cookie, too. Weird. God. <laughs> Colin. Colin has clung them as his own. Like any Colin. I wanna... Are you a cookie monster? And that's pretty much a wrap on Wednesday. We made some gluten free sugar cookies today. It was the first time we've made them and had them be gluten free. And the reason for that is because Brandon has become a reacquainted with his gluten sensitivity. He's had a gluten sensitivity for a very long time and it's just become clear that he needs to be a little more strict about his gluten intake and pretty much not consume any gluten. So we made some gluten-free sugar cookies. That was a lot of fun. The kids enjoyed decorating them and otherwise we just hung out at home, got a few things done around the house that needed to be accomplished. I went through my closet. It was like a light purge, but I did get rid of multiple pieces of clothing. That felt good. I also got the kids playroom picked up today. That was something that really needed to get done. I'm glad to have that off the list. It just needed a mother's touch and I had been putting it off and putting it off. So it kept getting a little worse and a little worse, but now it looks great in there. So that is also something that is no longer on the to-do list and that feels great. We have received communication that we are going to have school tomorrow. I'm really thankful that we will have another chance to be with our students once more before 2023 comes to an end. It will also be nice to be with all my colleagues, of course, too. This would have just been a very strange and kind of abrupt way to end our time together in 2023. And I think it would have made the transition coming back in 2024 after our holiday break that much more challenging. So we will be together with our students tomorrow for a half day and it will be a great time to just see them send them off on a happy holiday break so i'm gonna keep it short and sweet tonight because you know me i like to get chatty i could talk for a long time but this uh week in the life vlog is already getting rather long with everything that happened on monday and tuesday so i think today's portions of um the clips are going to be a little bit faster but it's gonna be a lengthier one. So if you've made it this far in and you haven't already cozied up with a drink or under a blanket or something like that, then do so before you finish out the rest of the vlog because I am sure that being cozied up while you finish watching would feel really nice. I will touch base with you again tomorrow on Thursday. I was told I was just here to hold stuff. <laughs> That's your role in this. I need, I need him to do it. Well, it's good to have a helper sometimes, right? Yeah. Wow, that's quite the boat, buddy. Let me see that boat. Whoa!
I love it. I built it by myself with Daddy Charlie. Awesome. Yeah, and you can see the motor where you make the boat go. Happy Thursday and goodbye on this Thursday. I'm not sure that I really ever said hi officially, but we have tackled Thursday and now it is pretty much complete. So I'm here to give you a little wrap up about the day and also say goodbye. We had half day of school today. It was really great to get to see the kids, to spend a little bit of time with them before we sent them off to, on their holiday breaks and I got to say see you next year, which always, I know it's not actually that long, but it always feels a little bit surreal to be saying that. So I'm really, really glad that we had that half day with the kids and that we did go back to school. Even though on the surface, it might've seemed silly to have had a half day Monday, which was unplanned, of course, no school Tuesday, no school Wednesday, and then come back for just a half day on Thursday. Some districts opted not to do that for various reasons, but I can say that I'm thankful that our district did choose to do that. Also, I'm sorry if you're hearing a washer and dryer. That is across the way from my little outro space. So um, that, you might be hearing that, but tis life, right? We've got to have clean clothing and such. So that was school. And again, just really nice to be with the kids. They seemed happy to be there. Attendance seemed good overall from my view in fourth grade. And the kids seemed in good spirits. And they really enjoyed getting to share their experiences of the last couple of days. I think that's really a great way for them to process everything that's happened too. If they want to talk about it, of course, but all of mine did. They were all eager to share their experiences, things they saw, whether they were without power, all that sort of stuff. So again, great to be with the kids. Definitely a great half day. And then we came home and I was kind of chill for a little while. Well, actually, as soon as I got home, I wrapped some presents for some family. Um, so I guess I didn't really like settle down right away. It felt weird. It felt weird to come home and to know that we were on break. I, it just because I hadn't had the full three and a half days I thought I was going to this week to kind of exhaust me and make me feel like, thank gosh, break is here. Um, I was almost feeling like I wasn't in the right place. Like I was doing the wrong thing by being home. So I think I needed to come home and still be busy and do something with my hands. So I wrapped gifts and then I settled down for a little while and just kind of sat and chilled out, watched a couple of videos and didn't do too much for a little bit and then I went to town picked up some kind of special dinner for us just Chipotle but it was fun to have something already made for us and tasty for dinner I talked to my sister the whole way there and back always good to talk with her uh, and then once I was home we had some dinner I hopped on the treadmill for a speed walk I couldn't really get myself wrapped around the idea of doing a run especially after Mexican food. Um, but a walk was good. So we did a walk, then we dusted the house. I finally dusted the house. <laughs> which which uh, week with me did I say I needed to dust the house? I think it was the last week with me, which was not actually last week. I didn't film mm, anything, I don't think, last week. And so a couple of weeks ago on our snow day Monday, I had said that I really wanted to dust the house. And I didn't that day. And I didn't until today. And the reason that I finally got the motivation to dust the house today is because we have company coming tomorrow. And I really was like, oh my gosh, I just, I cannot have this level of dust in my house when I have company visiting. So one of my good friends and her children are planning to come for the day tomorrow and we shall do some visiting while the kids play. Brandon will be here. He's going to be working on our master bathroom. So he'll be here, but not here kind of thing. But yeah, that's what's going on for Thursday. That's what the plans are for Friday. And then I'm going to wrap up this video and that'll be my week in the life. It's been quite the week in the life, but thank you for being here and I'll see you tomorrow. Aww. 
Uh, this one, I, this is so cute. Little Levi. You can't believe Levi. that's me. You can't believe that's you. I, I'm so cute. <laughs> Bye, You're still so I cute. Really I wish I had a baby brother that looked like that. <laughs> Okay, make sure you actually yeah. look at me. <laughs> I'll hold you. The very top. Uh, Did you get it? Yep. Good job.